Hello everybody and welcome to Parky Vorga for the playing of the Leash Senior Hurling Championship semi-final between the holders Camaros and the challengers Castletown Gales a repeat of last year's semi-final and looking down on this perfect scene of blue and white with a green background and Port Leash ground not looking so good we'll give you the line out of both teams before the commencement of the game and Castletown line out as follows in goal is John Lyons right corner back Jerry Phelan, fullback PJ Cuddy and Martin Phelan. On the half line is John Cuddy, Paul Cuddy, centre half back, and John O'Sullivan. And John O'Sullivan is also the team captain. Centre field is Eamon Kerwin and David Cuddy. Right half forward is Podge Cuddy, centre half forward is Dennis Gorman, and on his left is Cyril Cuddy. The full forward line Paddy Dollard, Fina O'Sullivan, and Pat Phelan. The cameras team is in goal Tim Lowry. Right corner back Jack Cuddy, full back Joe Doran, and on the left is Jim Scully. The half back line on the right is Tommy Delaney, centre half back Joe Dollard and Porrick Hogan. Centre field is Ali Dowling and his brother Fran. Right half forward is Ray Cuddy, centre half forward Fint Lawler, and on his left is Seamus Moore. The full forward line on the right is PJ Cuddy, full forward is Fintan Scully, and on the top of the left is Brian Moore. The referee for today's game is Mr. Pat Delaney of Rath Downey. And before the commencement of the game, there will be a minute silence as a remark of respect to late TJ Young, member of the Castletown Club, played at juvenile and underage level with the club, who died tragically in the Canaries last weekend. Referee Pat Delaney gives the signal and the Leash Senior Hurling semi-final is, is on and first to break away are cameras and Parik Hogan playing in the new role of half-pack wins the first ball beats two Castletown men sends a long relief and clears doesn't go very far because it's blocked down by a Castletown man David Cuddy going towards Johnny Sullivan the captain in there too is David Cuddy David Cuddy is beaten to this ball ball goes down towards Finn Scully the cameras full forward operating out around the 40 ball dropping out over the end line and wide and the first attack by cameras gone out over the end line and wide no score in this second leash senior hurling semi-final the winners of course to meet Port Leash easy winners of the first game over Harps final to be played on September the 10th ball poked out by John Lyons dropping around the centre of the field go towards Eamon Kerwin Eamon up along the ground good ball in towards the full back line indoors towards Tommy Lane Tommy Lane gets his pull in gets it out along the wing out towards Fran Dowell and Fran Dowell and David Cuddy David Cuddy goes to the ground with the ball it gone out over the line and the linesman has indicated it's a line ball for Cameras and uh, David Cuddy were not ha too happy with that decision but the linesman has indicated and Joe Dollard former Castletown underage star to take the line ball or has the referee blown for a free very small amount of uh, grass here ground not suitable for lifting the ball but Joe Dollard with the line ball cutting it in across the field a good ball dropping down towards PJ Cuddy going very near the full back line the two PJ Cuddy's PJ of Castellone gets there first gets it out towards the sideline it'll be another line ball for cameras this time Finn Scully goes out to retrieve it but the line ball will probably be taken by Finn Lawler who uh, this year has been very impressive from line balls from about 14 metres out and a chance possibly for the opening score of this second leash senior semi-final up he comes and cuts it left handed fine cut by Fint and the un umpire in the case that is the opening score of the game a point for cameras by Fint Lawler didn't start in last year's semi-final but came on a sub and scored a vital goal from a free just after he arrived on the pitch and the goal that uh, Castletown claimed was the 
goal that came against the run of play and ended their interest in the competition. They are out here to make amends today and John Lines pucks a long ball out around the centre of the field, out towards David Cody and Fran Dowland. Breaking in there too is Johnny Sullivan. Johnny Sullivan is tackled by his opposite number Tommy Delaney. Ball going very near the line. Kept in play though. Out comes Pat Phelan and Shamey Moore for cameras. Shamey Moore sends a good long ball way down towards uh, PJ Cody. PJ is out from the full forward line. It's going towards uh, David Cuddy for Castletown. Eamon Kerwin but Eamon's shot had knocked out over the line and to be another line ball for cameras from around the halfway line. And this time the line ball again will be taken by uh, Joe Dollard. He got a good line ball a couple of moments ago. Joe Dollard with the line ball cuts it in across the goal mouth, dropping in a dangerous ball in towards Finn Scully but in there is PJ Cuddy the Castletown man PJ gets it out towards David David sends a good long relief and clearance back helping out his defence out towards uh, Podgy Cuddy Podgy up along the far side going to be tackled there by Porrick Hogan Porrick gets in his shot doesn't get it very far it's going towards the side then got out over the side then this time it'll be a line ball for Castletown and John Cuddy used to play at centre half forward now playing in the fence playing at right half back to take this line ball in front of the Castletown dugout and from about the halfway line the first line ball of the game for Castletown cut in by John Cuddy not going to go very far but it does go to David Cuddy David going solo about to be tackled by the Dowling brothers but it's still David Cuddy loses the ball goes back towards Fran Dowling Fran Dowling trying to get it up he's about to be tackled by the centre half forward Dennis Gorman, Dennis Gorman knocks the ball out over the sideline and it'll be another line ball this time for Cameras and it looks like as if it'll be Joe Dollar to take it Linesman on the far side, Lars Gully indicating that it's a Cameras line ball and up he comes Joe cuts a good long line ball way down into the Castletown half of the field we're waiting for there was John Cuddy. John Cuddy is beat, but it goes back towards Eamon Kerwin. Eamon, the school teacher, sends a good long ball way up into the cameras half of the field. Out towards the far corner. It looks like he to Paddy Dollard, Paddy, brother of Joe, operating top of the right for Castletown. Gets in a good ball in towards the full forward line. In there is Tommy Delaney and uh, John Cuddy. John Cuddy is beat. It goes towards Pat Phelan, the corner forward. The referee had blown his whistle, but has he awarded a free into Castletown for a foul there on Pat Phelan? and a chance for David Cuddy maybe to get the equaliser or will Pat Phelan take the free himself Pat Delaney having a word there with uh, Joe Dollard and uh, Dennis Gorman the sides met of course in the delayed O'Brady Cup final of 1994 with Cameras winning by six, just six points Pat Phelan to take the free for Castletown has been their top scorer in several games this year Pat Delaney gives the signal he bends, lifts and strikes and Yes, the ball's gone over for the equaliser. Good point by Pat Phelan. Castletown one point, Cameras one point. And we're playing about uh, four minutes of play in this second leash hurling semi final here in perfect conditions at Parky Vorga. But a disappointingly small crowd as Tim Lowry pucks out for the Cameras men. Tim has been a uh, winner of two senior hurling medals in the last two years and the 221 medals. Out towards PJ Cuddy going in towards Johnny Sullivan Johnny Sullivan's beaten goes back towards Paul Cuddy Paul the big long rangy centre halfback twin brother of David gets it to David David hand passes out towards the oncoming Johnny Sullivan John playing a captain's part on the wing gets it up towards big Pat Phelan Pat Phelan a shot he takes a look at the goal and it looks a good one the umpire stretches for the flag and the second point of the game for Castletown and the second point for Pat Phelan to make the score two points to one for Castletown we're playing four and a half minutes Tim Lowry to puck out again in the cameras goal. He'll drop it out around the centre of the field. Waiting for it out there is Paul Cuddy. Paul Cuddy bats it down. It's going to go towards Fran Dowler. Fran Dowler is beaten. Going back towards Finton Lawler. Finton Lawler trying to get out towards Ray Cuddy. Ray Cuddy trying to get room. Sends a good ball in across the goal. Not dropping in towards the Uncle PJ. Going very near the line but kept in play by PJ Cuddy on his own, won't be on his own for very long but he sends a great ball back out towards the onrushing Oli Dowling, Oli Dowling takes the shot and it's gone straight over the bar for a equalising point from Oli Dowling good work there by PJ Cuddy he spotted the unmarked Oli Dowling and he sent it straight over the bar for the equaliser after 5 minutes to play, 2 points apiece 
Castletown Gales two points Castletown Gales of course hoping to appear in their first ever Leash Senior Hurling Final John Lines pucks out in the Castletown goal it's going to go very near the sideline on the far side trying to be kept in play but it's gone out and there'll be a line ball for Cameras from around the halfway line and this time it will be taken by is it Joe Donard again? Joe who played in a number of minor finals with with Castletown and under 21 finals before thrown in his lot with Cameras back in 1987 cuts a good line ball in towards the goal mode, dropping in towards the full forward line, looking for PJ Cuddy. Here to have his hand held, but goes in towards John Lyons and gone out over the end line, knocked out by John Lyons. And uh, be a 65, the first 65 of the game for to be for Cameras and Joe Donard again to attempt uh, a score for Cameras. Bends and lifts and strikes. Dropping short in towards Shamie Moore, in towards Brian Moore. Ball beaten out towards Finn Scully, a chance for Finn here takes his shot and it's gone over the bar and Cameras take the lead three points to two after seven and a half minutes of play here in this Leash Hurling semi-final Vince Gully who caused an awful lot of havoc for Castletown in the O'Brady Cup final uh, not 100% fit today but lining out at full forward and so far playing reasonably well John Lyons pucks out in the Castletown goal he'll drop it well beyond centre field Lolly Dowland's going for it out there kept in play though and gone but gone out over the line and this time it'll be another line ball this time the line ball will be to Castletown and it looks to be John Cuddy over there on the far side about to take take it and it's just about 10 metres inside uh, the camera's half of the field up he comes cuts a good ball in towards the full forward line but the ball is knocked out goes towards Joe Dollar Joe about to be tackled by Dennis Gorman Dennis but this time uh, well Joe went down there and the referee has gone over there to have a word with uh, the two players um, Lars Bully appealing for a bit of cam over there and the line ball to be taken or is Pantalini awarding a free to Cameras from where the ball landed a free to Joe Dollard this time just inside the Castletown half of the field bends and lifts and strikes dropping down towards the umpire has indicated that the ball has gone out of the end line wide John Lyons agrees with him and John Lyons will puck it out John, whose father Jimmy, of course, played with Cudda in the 1959 final against Cameras and was later to play many a fine fine game with Cameras and captained them to victory in the 1973 county final against Boris and Osprey. John pucks it out, dropping it well beyond centre field, out towards Tommy Delaney. Tommy Delaney is beaten. He goes back there, ball going out towards David Cuddy. David Cuddy towards Finan, Finan O'Sullivan, Finan O'Sullivan back towards Pat Phelan ball blocked down not gone very far but gone out over the end line and widened the score remains three points to two in favour of Cameras and uh, to be remembered when the sides met of course in the Brady Cup final that Cameras scored a couple of early goals which seemed to unsettle Castletown and they never really got back into the contest the sides met in the Brady Cup final two years ago and it ended all square with a late point by Joe Dollard before Cameras won the replay and of course Cameras won the championship semi-final last year it's a long time since Castellan recorded a victory over these uh, black and amber men but the ball going out towards David Cuddy David Cuddy beats Fran Dowling going out towards uh, Tommy Delaney about to be tackled there by David Cuddy is still Tommy Delaney ball knocked away from him comes back to him again but he doesn't get it very far because the ball comes towards David Cuddy David Cuddy beats Tommy De and a uh, ball goes in the good ball in along the ground in towards the full forward line they're looking for Paddy Dollar but the ball is beaten back out there by the cameras cornerback Jim Scully ball breaks out around centre field they're looking for Finn Scully Finn Scully trying to get up attacked by two Castletown men one of them is Paul, Paul Cuddy ball into Fint Lawler Fint Lawler to the unmarked Brian Moore Brian Moore has the ball taken from him trying to get in towards PJ Cuddy but there's three four Castletown men in there PJ trying to make room ball blocked down well blocked down by the other PJ Cuddy in there too is Jerry Phelan pulls along the ball ground and going out towards Eamon Kirwan out under the stand and Eamon rises and sends a good ball way beyond centre field out towards Jim Scully tackled there by uh, Paddy Dollard and Paddy Dollard in turn tackled by Jim Scully but the referee had blown his whistle and think it'll be a line ball for a line ball for Castletown about 40 metres out referee indicating where the line ball is to be taken it looks to be Pudgy Cuddy with the ball but Pudgy won't take it he leaves it to David Cuddy 
good striker of a ball along the ground and could well uh, convert this one from just under the stand 45 metres out he cuts a good ball dropping in towards the parallelogram and gone straight over the bar a good point the sides are level three points apiece a point by David Cuddy we're playing now approximately ten and a half minutes in the first half Tim Lowry to pop out in the camera's goal and uh, to their credit Castletown keeping very much in step with the reigning county champions and favourites of course for this Leash semi-final Tim Lowry pokes it and drops it well beyond centre field down towards Fintlar but Paul Cuddy gets there first knocks it out towards the brother David but David is beaten this time by Fran Dowell Fran Dowell trying to make room ball knocked away from in there too is Johnny Sullivan Johnny Sullivan about to be tackled by Shemi Moore but Shem, Johnny gets the ball well out into the other end of the field towards Pat Phelan Pat Phelan is beaten by Jack Cuddy goes towards Dennis Gorman Dennis along the ground in towards Pat Dollard ball breaks out though towards David Cuddy and in towards Tim Lowry well taken by Tim Lowry in the camera's goal and sends a long relief and clearance way out towards the sideline but can out over the sideline and uh, while Lars Gully has indicated that the ball must have taken a knock off the Castletown defender and he's awarded the line ball to cameras from uh, just inside their own half of the field no doubt Joe Dollar to cut it out of the fence this game really hasn't come to life yet but then both teams very keen and the marking is very close Joe Dollar cuts a good line ball up towards the full forward line and the Castellone defence has been playing reasonably well against the cameras uh, attack so far but this time there's a free in from about 40 metres out and a chance for Fintlawler to regain the lead for cameras and referee Petalane you have a word there with Paul Cuddy nothing serious and Fintlawler is chance to uh, regain the lead after spending a couple of months in America this year after the leash defeat by Kilkenny and Fint cuts a good ball straight over the bar and Camus regained the lead four points to three after twelve and a half minutes of play John Lyons to puck out in the Castletown goal used to play at right corner back but has gone into a goal since uh, Raymond Coss departed the scene and John of course a member of the Irish Rail team that won the All-Ireland Interfirms junior hurling title last year a tremendous run in the competition down towards Tommy Delaney and uh, David Cuddy and David Cuddy has gone down or Finana Sullivan as his has gone down injured and the referee has awarded a free for a foul there by Tommy Delaney Delaney pointing his innocence there to Pat Delaney but David Cuddy seems to be alright and the free will be taken by Pat Phelan it's about 50 metres out and Castletown gifted with two good uh, free takers in um, David Cuddy and Pat Phelan Pat who doubles as club secretary bends and lifts and strikes and this time it seems to be alright it's gone straight over the bar and the sides are level four points apiece we're playing almost 15 minutes of this uh, second leash hurling semi-final and Castown only in senior grade for three years beaten in their first senior appearance in the quarter final after a great run in the competition surprisingly defeated by Balakala in a quarter final lost to Cameron last year's semi-final and hoping to go one better this year and they're still playing very well ball breaks towards Fran Down Fran Down is beaten goes back towards Johnny Sullivan Johnny Sullivan low ball up along the far side up towards Paddy Dollard Jim Scully getting the better of the clash here so far but the ball is going out towards Finana Sullivan Finana Sullivan the college's player gets a lovely ball across the square towards Pat Phelan the striker Pat shot knocked down but he goes and gets it a second time but this time it's gone out well harassed by the cameras defence and bonking out over the end line and wide the score remains four points apiece and Pat not happy with that shot but uh, he has been playing very well so far Tim Lowry to puck out of uh, the cameras goal Ball dropping down around the centre. The field, Lolly Dowlin is there. So is Eamon Kirwan. Ball breaks towards Fran Dowlin. Fran Dowlin gets in a good shot. Dropping in towards the parallel. Out over the end line though. And wide. The score remains four points apiece. John Lyons quite busy in the Castletown goal. But he's yet to concede a goal. 
Castellan who had two marvellous victories over Boris Nasri with a last minute goal by Matty Curry and a very narrow uh, victory over Ireland their second game it was a goal by Pat Field and five minutes from time that really clinched it for them ball knocked out over the sideline and it'll be a line ball for this time for Castletown to be taken by John O'Sullivan who's moved over from his own wing John who's been training this Castletown team has decided to leave the line ball to David Cuddy and David of course who was uh, very accurate with a previous line ball cutting straight over the bar going to attempt the second one cuts a good ball in towards the parallelogram it mightn't have the distance it's blocked out and going towards Paddy Dollard Paddy's trying to keep it in play knocks it back out to an unmarked but Jim Scully is there cuts it out and uh, sends Cameron's attacking but waiting for his David Cuddy grabs it and sends it straight back out and over the bar a lovely point by David Cuddy a uh, ball that, from, that was cleared out by Jim Scully but David Cuddy unmarked 45 metres out and sends it straight over the bar the sides are level 5 points apiece in this leash hurling semi-final Tim Lowry to puck it out the tempo up been upped every minute ball dropping around the centre of the field towards David Cuddy again Castletown certainly winning the midfield battle at the moment because the ball breaks out towards David Cuddy again he's 50 metres out from the camera goal ball knocked away from him though by Porrick Hogan out towards big Dennis Gorm and Dennis tries to get the ball along the ground the referee has blown his whistle for another foul on a Castletown player this time it's Dennis Gorman and this time Pat Delaney appears to be taking the name of Tommy Delaney for a foul not on Dennis Gorman because Dennis Gorman is standing beside Joe Dollard Pat Delaney warning Tommy that this time it's a foul on another Castletown player we're not sure who it is Pat Phelan in the meantime is ready to take the free and the cast down player seems to be alright Pat Phelan with a chance to give Castletown the lead, the sides are level 5 points apiece as we approach the 20th minute of the opening half bends and lifts and strikes, he's been accurate so far and this time he puts a good ball straight over the bar and gives Castletown the lead six points to five no breeze favouring either team as Tim Lowry pokes the ball well down past the centre field towards uh, Ollie Dowland and Eamon Kirwan Kirwan gets there first but the ball breaks out in, instead out towards Fran Dowland Fran Dowland trying to get around Kirwan that won't be easy but it's in his shot in towards the full forward line they're looking for PJ Cuddy or Brian Moore in there Ray Cuddy but John Lines comes out with the ball good work there by Lyons tackled there by PJ Cuddy ball breaks out towards uh, Brian Moore but the ball is gone out over the sideline it'll be a line ball for cameras this time it'll be taken by Fint Lawler and this time it's a bit farther out he cut one over the bar already from about 14 metres this time it's about 20 metres out and the chance for Fint to get the equaliser for cameras as we approach the 24th minute of the opening half Up he comes, cuts a lovely left-handed stroke by Fint, and this time it's gone straight over the bar, and the sides are level, five points apiece. The second line ball, second point by Fint Lawler from a line ball, and he's also sent over one from a free, and John Lines pokes out in the Castletown goal. Castletown, of course, were known as Castletown Gales, but on this occasion, there's no member of the Sleeve Loon team playing, and the, and the, so there's just b barely Castletown. Uh, ball dropping in around the centre in towards the full forward in towards Paddy Dollard Jim Scully gets out there first beats Dollard loses the ball goes back and gets it pulls along the ground going towards the sideline on the far side out there too is Paul Cuddy Paul pulls one, one hand won't get it goes back towards John Cuddy John Cuddy pulls while the referee has blown his whistle for a wild pull there on Ray Cuddy and no doubt he'll take the name was it Martin Phelan or John Cuddy and in the meantime there's a Castletown player down injured it's Finan O'Sullivan Fint Lawler with the free bends and lifts and strikes and a chance to regain the lead for cameras Fint's fourth point and it's gone straight over the bar John Lyne's not happy with the decision but uh, cameras take the lead six points to five and John Lyne's to puck out in the cameras goal his grandfather John Lyne's played with cameras back in 1914 pucks out in the Castletown goal dropping it out around the centre of the field out towards uh, Pat Fielden and the referee has blown his whistle there for a foul on the Castletown player and a chance for maybe Pat Fielden to level the game before half time 
Pat Phelan coming out to take it. Bends, lifts and strikes. Dropping that in, a dangerous one in towards the goal mouth. In towards Jack Cuddy. Jack Cuddy is beaten. In towards the end line. Kept in play though. Going out for his podgy Cuddy. Out there too is Shammy Moore. Shammy Moore rises and sends a good long relief in clearance. Way down past the centre of the field. In there too is David Cuddy. Fran Dowlin is there and so is Ray Cuddy. Ray Cuddy is tackled by Paul Cuddy. Goes back towards Fran Dowlin. Gets in his shot. About to be tackled but sends in the long relief and clearance. Down towards Finn Scully. Out, operate now out around the 50 metre line. Tackled there but holds on to the ball. Tackled by PJ Cuddy, the full back. The win there too is Jerry Field. And Jerry Field grabs it and sends a long relief in turn. Going to drop around the centre of the field. Out towards Ollie Dowlin. In there is Eamon Kerwin. But back there is John Cuddy for Castletown. John about to be tackled. Beats the tackle. Gets it out towards David. David sends a long relief in turn. This time it'll drop in around the corner. In towards Paddy Dollard maybe. But waiting for it in there is uh, Tommy Delaney for cameras. Sends a long relief and clearance. The men that Captain Cameron stood their 21st title just 12 months ago. Ball dropping down around the full back and the full forward, but gone out over the end line and the score remains. Six points apiece. And this very closely contests the uh, leash hurling semi final and a lot of a poke of the ball between the sides. And Castletown playing very, very well, not intimidated by the fact that they're playing the reigning county champions. Ball poked out by John Lyons. He'll drop it beyond centre field. Out there is Johnny Sullivan. Ball knocked out towards uh, Shammy Moore. Shammy Moore and John Cuddy. John Cuddy pulls first time, but back in there, helping out his Jerry Phelan. And Martin Phelan. Martin Phelan's shot goes out over the sideline. That'll be a line ball for Fint Lawler. This time on the opposite side. A chance to give Cameras the lead maybe before half time. very warm humid conditions and the players beginning to show a lot of perspiration it'll surely be a game for the fittest the ball dropping in towards PJ Cuddy a chance here for for cameras ball broken out towards the corner forward won't walk out to Finn Scully Finn cleverly knocks it away towards PJ Cuddy PJ tries, tries to get back across the edge of the square chance for cameras a but ball knocked away very good by Martin Phelan back there too is Johnny Sullivan playing a captain's role gets a good ball a low ball out along the ground he's looking for John Pawry Cuddy, Pawry Cuddy, but the shot has gone out over the sideline. At this time, the line ball for Castletown from their own half back line, and uh, a line ball maybe to be taken by Paul Cuddy or John Sullivan. Paul Cuddy to take it. Paul, of course, a member of the Ballyfin team that went to the All Ireland Colleges final. Himself and David a couple of years ago beaten by the Hamilton School down in Cork. Ball dropping around the half back line for cameras. In towards Finan O'Sullivan. Finan who won a college's um, university medal there in Limerick two years ago. Ball breaking in. Dangerous ball here towards Paddy Dollar. Ball blocked down by Tim Lowry. How, how did he keep it out? He hit the upright. Comes back out again. It's The chance is still there for Castletown. But the umpire has indicated a 65 metre free for Castletown. But Castletown certainly applying the pressure in the closing minutes of this opening half. Paul Cuddy bends and lifts and strikes. Will he drop it in or will he go for a score? And the umpire has indicated that the ball has gone over the bar. A good point by Paul Cuddy. The Cuddy brothers, Paul and David, playing very well in this opening half. As Castletown take the lead as we approach the half time whistle. And uh, Tim Lowry to puck out the man who succeeded the great John Carroll in the camera's goal sends a long relieving puck down towards uh, Ollie Dowlin. Ollie Dowlin is beaten, goes out for the second time, was leaving it to Jimmy Moore, but goes himself. Gets it this time. He's tackled by David Cuddy. He's still tackled by David Cuddy. Tackled by Eamon Kerwin. The referee has blown his whistle and he's awarded a free for a foul. Did he say that Ollie Dowlin carried it too far? Or has he awarded a free into cameras? The ball to be placed there by the linesman Tony Delaney. Or had the ball in fact gone out over the sideline. A line ball for Castletown. Taken out by Ollie Dowling and uh, David Cuddy. The man that will take it. David of course also a member of the Irish Rail team. That won last year's Leash Leinster and All-Ireland titles. Cuts a good ball along the ground. 
dropping it around uh, Joe Dollard and Eamon Kirwan ball breaks back out towards Johnny Sullivan and this time the ball's gone out over the end line the score remains 7 points to 6 in favour of the blue and white side from Castletown Tim Lowry pucks out in the camera's goal he'll be dropping it beyond centre field out there is Fint Lawler doesn't break the Fint Does, goes towards David Cuddy tackled by Fint Lawler the referee says play on broke towards Shemi Moore Shemi Moore trying to make room for himself but there's a cast down waiting man waiting knocked away from him because it goes towards Fint Scully Fint trying to hand pass it ba back out towards Ollie Dowling Ollie Dowling the shot dropping it in towards PJ Cuddy tackled though on the end line then the ball's gone out another chance missed by Cameras good work there by the Castletown defence and uh, John Lines will puck out once again Six minutes gone in the opening half. Ball poked out by John Lyons. He'll drop it beyond centre field. He's looking for Pat Phelan. Ball comes out back out towards uh, Eamon Kirwan. Sends a long ball in towards Paddy Dollar. Paddy Dollar pulls first time, but back there too is Patrick Hogan. Hogan about to be tackled by Paddy Dollar. Slips the tackle and sends a long relief and clearance way down towards the centre of the field. Out towards Fint Lawler. Fint Lawler is beaten. Goes out towards Brian Moore. Ball down over the sideline. And this end to be a line ball for. Castletown and Paul Cuddy about to take it, is he? Referee taking the name of Shami Moore there for a, a tackle on John Sullivan. Has the referee awarded a free to Castletown to be, time to be taken by Paul Cuddy from uh, the middle of the field. And John Sull Sullivan seems to have made a great recovery and he shakes hands with Shami Moore and uh, Paul Cuddy to take the free he'll drop this one in just inside the, his, the cameras half of the field a good dropping ball in towards the parallelogram in there is the full forward in there too is Joe Dorn Joe Dorn is about to be beat ball doesn't come break very well for Castletown in there is Jack Cuddy Jack Cuddy along the ground waiting for though is Eamon Kerwin the centre field player Eamon sends a lovely ball in towards the full forward line in towards Pat Phelan Pat Phelan his tackle Jack Phelan slips the tackle gets it in dangerously in towards Paddy Dollard a chance of a goal by Paddy Dollard a goal for Castletown but Pat Phelan was the man who set it up and in an incident there with uh, Joe, Joe Dollard he was saying something to Joe Dollard and Joe didn't take too kindly to it and now Finano Sullivan having a word there with uh, Joe Dollard and no doubt Pat Delaney will have a word there with the, with the umpire over to what happened there but certainly uh, Joe Dollard didn't take too kindly to what Pat Phelan might have said after uh, Paddy Dollard had scored the goal Paddy of course who uh, spent a short time playing with cameras before immigrating to uh, Canada and returned to hurl with Castletown this year and Pat Delaney will take the name of uh, Joe Dollard Dennis Gorman uh, not too happy with that and he's uh, having words there with Joe Dollard and Pat Delaney anxious that the game resume uh, but the goal stands anyway one goal and seven points for Castletown six points for Cameras and tempers coming a bit frayed in the heat of this uh, Leash Senior Hurling semi-final as we approach the half-time whistle Tim Lowry poking out and uh, has the referee blown for half-time and at half-time the score Leash Senior Hurling semi-final Cameras the holders seven points but Castletown the challengers just seven points and that goal just before half time could well prove to be a crucial score before this game is over just looking around to see if there's any changes on either side and I don't see any changes in the Castletown team well then they should be quite happy with our first half performance leading by four points against the reigning county champions and surely that is an indication of their strength and the confidence that they're playing with of course a big boost to their side this year has been the return of, uh, from Canada of Paddy Dollar to the attack and he's certainly causing a few problems there, uh, not least of all that goal just before half time. Uh, this I see uh, John Sullivan starting off at centre field in the second half 
with M and Kirwan gone back in defence is he ball breaks out cast on first on the attack ball out towards M and Kirwan doesn't get it very far goes towards Pudgy Cuddy but the ball is cleared back out towards Fran Dowling for cameras Fran trying to get around his marker David he's beaten by another Castellan man comes back towards David Seamus Moore Seamus Moore is beaten gone way down towards uh, the Castletown half forward line in there is Joe Dorn Joe Dorn trying to get the cameras moving he knows they're trailing by four points they've often been four points behind before well cut by Johnny Sullivan he tries to get in his clearance but it doesn't go very far because he's tackled by Tommy Lenny here comes Joe Dollard trying to set up a cameras attack but he's going to be tackled there by Dennis Gorman he's uh, fouled there by Dennis Gorman and he did get a bit of a knock in the face there and uh, no doubt he'll be awarded a free there by Pat Delaney but a kind of a wild swing there by Dennis Gorman nothing malicious and uh, Joe not anxious to talk to referee Pantelani or has the referee indicated there'll be a line ball on uh, he's indicated a line ball for Castletown and uh, David cuts a good ball in towards the full forward line dangerous ball in towards Finana Sullivan grabs it and sends Castletown attacking but this time it's gone to the left of the post and wide the score remains 176 points in favour of the uh, the challengers Castletown Gales hoping to appear in their first ever leash hurling final the team did appear when they were known as Kudda back in a couple of finals in the in the late 50s but without any success ball dropping around the centre of the field pulled on there by Fran Dowlin ball breaking down towards Paul Cuddy Paul Cuddy breaks up the cameras attack ball is swept back out though again towards PJ Cuddy for cameras in there too is Jerry Phelan Jerry Phelan Jerry Phelan along the ground doesn't get it uh, getting it out towards the sideline in there is Parry Cogan Parry goes to the ground is it a line ball over there for Castletown the referee has indicated yes it'll be a line ball for Castletown or for Cameras and it'll be taken by Joe Dollar their centre half back the referee in actual fact has awarded a free on this occasion and Joe Dollar drops a great ball in towards uh, the centre half forward in towards Finn Clower, in there towards Ollie Dowling comes back to Fran Dowler. Fran Dowling is tackled though by two Castletown men one of them is David Cuddy but he beats off the tackle gets in a good ball in towards the full forward line but in there too is PJ Cuddy the full back doesn't get it very far ball skims off of his hurry gets it out though towards uh, the half forward going very near the sideline Paddy Dollar tried to keep it in play but the ball had gone out over the sideline this time it'd be a line ball for Cameron and Jim Scully running back to retrieve the ball Jim Scully with the line ball from about 30 metres out from the camera's goal and he cuts a good line ball way beyond centre field but it's going to break towards David Cuddy David Cuddy tackled by Fran Dowling because he gets in a good shot drop it in towards the end line and out over the end line and wide two wides for Castletown in the opening minutes of the second half and we're train, playing about three and a half minutes and no score yet on the scoreboard but Castletown of course leading by that goal and seven points to six points that vital goal coming from Paddy Dollar just before half time and puck out in the goal from Tim Lowry he'll drop it around Shemi Moore in there too is Fint Lawler Fint trying to get across to Fran Dowling Fran Dowling along the ground trying to keep it out towards the sideline but going very near the sideline kept in play but gone this time and um, Cyril Cuddy is the man that goes over to retrieve the ball this time it's a line ball for Cameras Joe Dollard might be about to take it again is he Joe Dollard with a chance to set cameras on the attack their defence has been under a lot of pressure in the opening five minutes of the second half and Joe Dollard receiving attention there for a hand injury he received in the tackle his position Joe cuts a good line ball he'll drop about 20 metres out from the goal PJ Cuddy goes up ball beaten away from him by the other PJ Cuddy 
the Castleton Pizza. Ball gone out around centre of the field. Brawls towards David Cuddy. He pulls first time, but he's hooked. But the ball breaks back towards Tommy Delaney. Tommy Delaney, the half back, gets a great ball <coughs> up towards Ray Cuddy, in towards PJ Cuddy. PJ takes a look at the goal. Has his, the angle is good and it's a good shot and the score is a goal and seven points to seven points for cameras. Well taken point by PJ Cuddy and uh, there's now just three points between the sides. And the cameras player lying injured on the far side but uh, John Lyons anxious to go on with the puck out. Up he comes. And John puts a good ball way down into the Castletown quarter, half, half line. Paddy Dollard is out there. Beats Jim Scully this time. Getting the better of Jim Scully in the second half with back there is Joe Dollard. He's tackled by Dennis Gorman. Dennis hand pass hand passed out by Joe Dollard to the on running Parry Hogan. Parry Hogan tries to pick it up. He's about to be tackled by Johnny Sullivan. But he still has the ball. When sends a long relief and clearance for cameras. Way up towards PJ Cuddy. PJ Cuddy is tackled up by the other PJ Cuddy. Ball breaks out towards the wing, out towards Martin Phelan. Martin Phelan cuts a good ball, but waiting for it all in his own is Parry Cogan. He sends another good long ball way up towards the full forward line. The hands go up, but there is Paul Cuddy and a chance for PJ Cuddy a shot. But this time the referee has blown his whistle. Did he indicate there was a foul there by PJ Cuddy? Or is Pat Delaney is pointing for a free out. He says that PJ Cuddy might have picked the ball off the ground. A free out to be taken by John Lyons from about uh, 25 metres out from his own goal. He bends and lifts and strikes a goal between the sides and we're now playing almost 10 minutes in the second half. Waiting for it on his own is Joe Dollard. Cameras defence playing very well in the opening part of the second half. Hand passed out by Joe Dollard to the young waiting Tommy Delaney and Tommy sends a great long well even clearance way up into the Castletown half with Finn Scully is going for it but he's limping. Tries to get in towards Brian Moore. Brian Moore is beaten though. And the ball's coming back out towards Shemi Moore. Out there too is Padraig Hogan. Padraig Hogan is tackled by Pawdry Cuddy. But the ball breaks out towards uh, Brian Moore. Brian Moore trying to keep the ball in play. But the ball is taken from him. Tommy Delaney is beaten. Goes back towards Fran Dowler. Fran Dowler goes to the ground. Two cast men around him. One of them is uh, Dennis Gorman. The ball breaks back towards uh, Joe, Do Joe Dollar. Joe tries to beat Dennis Gorman. And that's not easy because the ball has gone out over the sideline. This time be a line ball for... Castletown. And uh, Camus defender's not too happy with that decision, and Patelani has indicated she's bringing the ball up 10 metres. Joe Dollar's still arguing that it should have been a Camus line ball, but the linesman was adamant, and David could be a chance possibly of the opening score for Castletown here in the second half. Port Leash, of course, awaiting the winners after their comprehensive victory over the Harps. But we must remember that they didn't score for 24 minutes in that opening half. Ball dropping in towards the end line and gone out over the end line and wide, and the score remains. Cameras, seven points. Castletown, the challengers, one goal and seven points. That Paddy Dollard goal separating the sides. When the sides met, of course, last year, Paddy wasn't here. Ball poked out by Tim Lowry in the camera goal. Dropping it around the centre of the field towards Fran Down. Fran Down is beaten. Goes back and gets it the second time. Goes to the ground. The referee is blown for a foul there by Cyril Cuddy on uh, Fran Dowlin and a chance for our cameras to get into the attack once again. Joe Dollard with the free. Delaney, the referee asking him to take it back a metre or two that Joe had stolen bends, lifts and strikes dropping it in towards the parallelogram and <coughs> dropping it straight over the bar reducing the deficit to just two points, a goal and seven points for Castletown, eight points for the challengers cameras but uh, Castletown playing very well and we're gone about 12 minutes into the second half, John Lyons waiting for the signal to poke out the ball in the Castletown goal. They have yet to score in the second half, but Cameras then have only scored just two points. That Paddy Dollard goal could still be crucial before this game is over, and John Lyons pokes it out. He'll drop it beyond the centre of the field. Gone well beyond centre field. Tommy Delaney and Pat Phelan is out there. Pat Phelan wins this one. 
Pat Phelan sends a good ball in towards the uh, unmarked Finan. Finan a shot and Finan a point. The opening score for Finan O'Sullivan, a very well taken point. But the ball came from Pat Phelan. Pat Phelan placed him and um, Castletown now lead by three points again. One eight to eight points. Tim Lowry to poke out in the camera's goal. Going to drop towards John Cuddy in there too with Shammy Moore for cameras. Shammy Moore trying to get in towards PJ Cuddy but in there too is Paul Cuddy coming on a solo run. Sends a long relief and clearance way up into the far corner up towards Paddy Dollar. Paddy Dollar goes up the hand up. Lovely ball dropping in towards the end line but then out of the end line and uh, another third bad wide there for Castletown since the commencement of the second half. And but they're still leading by three points. A goal and eight to eight points and what cameras might need at this stage is a goal. They're trailing by three points, but they haven't really looked like getting a goal in either halves. Ball going out towards Ollie Dowling. Ollie Dowling is beaten again, though. Cast down pair goes to the ground, and the referee has blown his whistle. I think it might have been Martin Phelan, and uh, the referee has indicated a foul on the Castletown player, and he'll uh, award a free to the men in blue and white. The famous blue and white worn by the Kuda teams back in the 50s. Paul Cuddy bends and lifts and strikes dropping a dangerous ball down into the camera's half and the umpire indicates that it's another, yet another bad wide for cast down but there wasn't an awful lot in it but it's still gone out to the wrong side of the poster fourth wide of the second half <coughs> three points between the sides and Tim Lowry to poke out once again in the camera's goal we're going on 12-13 um, minutes maybe into the second half and this game could go either way yet. Parry Hogan drops a good ball in, but waiting for this Paul Cuddy again. Clears it out along the ground, a long relief and clearance. Way up into the far corner. Danger here for Cameras has been on a Sullivan running in along the end line. Takes a shot towards Pat Phelan and Shalen takes a shot and a goal for Castletown. But the work was certainly done by Finan O'Sullivan. He took a great pass, soloed in along this, the end line and saw the unmarked Pat Phelan. Phelan pulled first time and to add to his total, of four points in the opening half one goal and four points for this man in the corner and their second goal of the game and now the champions are in real trouble they're trailing by six points two goals and eight to eight points is there a fight back in this team ball out towards Fint Lawler Fint Lawler is beaten though by Martin Phelan ball out towards uh, Dennis Gorm Dennis Gorm is beaten gets it back towards Cyril Cuddy Cyril Cuddy and Tommy Delaney in there too is Joe Dollar two Castletown men around him beats the two of them sends a good shot way up towards the centre of the field but uh, doesn't go very far but goes towards Fintal Fintal is trying to get around Paul Curry that would be easy in towards Brian Moore Brian Moore loses goes back tries to get it a second time gets it a second time in towards uh, Ray Cuddy but the ball has gone out over the sideline it will be a line ball for cameras they're trailing by six points and really they really need a goal now and Fint Lawler to cut this line ball in from about 45 metres out from uh, from their own goal and the champions are beginning to look a bit ragged at this stage as Fintaler cuts in not a great line ball he was looking for somebody inside but it's a Castletown man that gets it there's two Castletown men in there Fran Dowlin is in there as well but he pulls first time the referee had blown his whistle Vince Gully hobbling still over on the far side and do I see a sub coming on the cameras team it looks very like Shemi Kendian while Vince Gully might be going off because he's been carrying the injury since early in the game and Seamus Kendi comes into the cameras attack they're trailing by six points and uh, the ball to be poked out by John Lyons he's yet to concede a goal in this semi-final he was rattled for a few by Earl in the in the quarter-finals but today he is yet to concede one in fact he hasn't been really tested as Paddy Dollar grabs this ball sends another bad wide out for Castletown and luckily for cameras that this lethal full forward line of Castletown is not as dangerous as they well might be but they're certainly causing enough problems but uh, that's their fifth wide of the second half and Tim Lowry poking out again in the cameras goal anxious to get his side on the move they need to get a score shortly ball goes in towards uh, Seamus Kennedy the man who came on a sub he's trying to get in towards PJ Cuddy but PJ Cuddy is beaten by the other PJ Cuddy having an inspired game for Castletown in the blue and white today 
Ball broken in towards uh, Ollie Dowlin. But going very near the sideline. Gone out over the side in the line ball for Camus to be taken by Flint Lawler. Will he try for a point or this time he might to drop it in and hope for a goal? Flint Lawler from about 35 metres out. Up he comes. Puts dust out of the ground. A lovely dropping ball in towards PJ Cuddy. Ball in towards uh, Ray Cuddy. Going, but swept out by the Castletown defence, going very near the sideline, it'll go out over the sideline and uh, Padraig Hogan might take this line ball from this side or will Fintlara come across? Six points between the sides as we approach the end of the third quarter of this Leash Hurling semi-final, Padraig Hogan doesn't cut a very good one as it goes in towards Johnny Sullivan, the captain of the Castletown team. Johnny Sullivan cuts a good ball but this time it's gone back out over the sideline again and another line ball for Cameras and this time will it be taken by Tommy Delaney their half back trying to get uh, Cameras on the move or Joe Donner has come up to take it beside badly in need of a score he helped Castletown to win an intermediate final back in 1986 when Cameras were winning another senior title ball dropping in towards the corner I think I see Matty Collier has come on the Cameras team as well at this time ball filled out by Johnny Sullivan Johnny Sullivan out towards Jeff Dennis Gorman, Dennis Gorman and Parry Cogan, a clash between the two of them, but uh, Gorman gets the better, ball in towards Finan, Finan, Finan is beaten, this time he's gone out over the sideline, it might be a line ball for Castletown, it will be taken in a hurry by Podgy Cuddy placed, and at least Podgy going to take a short one himself. Will it be David Cuddy, David Cuddy coming up? take this line ball it's about 50 meters out and uh, Castletown uh, they've only they might have only got one score but they have got a vital one in the second half their last two scores have been goals the last one in the first half and the first one in the second ball breaking dangerously in towards Finan and Finan a shot and Finan a point a good point by his second point Finan Sullivan's second point stretching the Castletown lead to seven points and now the champions really in trouble as the ball breaks out towards the centre of the field out towards Fran Dowling, Fran Dowling gets there first cuts a good ball in in towards PJ Cuddy, PJ Cuddy goes to the ground, in there to Martin Phelan Martin Phelan trying to get the ball out and this time it might be, I think it's gone over the sideline on the far side line ball for Cameras and they're badly in need of a goal as we enter the final quarter of this Leash Hurling semi-final Cameras haven't been beaten in a Hurling semi-final since Clenad beat him in 1991 as Fintlara cuts this line ball he doesn't cut it very far he was trying a short one in towards trying to keep it in play but it's gone out over the end line and wide score remains Castletown two goals and nine points Cameras eight points and seven points separating the sides 13 minutes left in this hurling semi-final Cameras winners of their leash title for the last two years and beaten of course in the semi-final back in 1991 1992 beaten in the first round in 1991 by Clannad and beaten by Clannad in a semi-final in 91 and incidentally when they played Clannad in that game in that quarter final in 1991 they had hammered Castletown in the opening round in Boris and Austria the sides haven't met until last year of course in last year's semi-final Castletown returning to play in the junior competition ball gone out towards the side and kept in play by Jimmy Moore Jimmy Moore trying to get it back in towards Fint Lawler but Paul Cuddy gets there first out towards John Cuddy John Cuddy is beaten back towards Jimmy Moore pulls first time way up into the Castletown half cameras on the, on the attack but the ball is beaten well past PJ Cuddy going out towards them um, Fran Dowling, Fran trying to keep it in play, out there too with David Cuddy, ball gone out over the end line. Castletown who won a great uh, title back in uh, junior title defeat in Shanahoe, followed up a year later with a great win over Balna Kill in the Leash Intermediate final and their third year now at senior level and they'd love to win, get into a senior final. They're looking very good at the moment. This ball breaks out towards Matty Collier, the cameras captain, injured before the game, but came on as a sub. Ball's always beaten out by Johnny Sullivan for Castletown. Out towards uh, 
Finn Lawler out there to his uh, the full back Joe Dorn moved away from his patch but the ball has gone straight over the bar and another great point for Castletown increasing their lead 2-10 to 8 points and Finn Sullivan I think was the man that might have got a touch to it but he's gone down with cramp at the centre of the field and Bernie Conroy the magic doctor is in with the spray but he doesn't seem to be too bad Peter's in there trying to tell his men to remain calm. Only about 10 minutes left, and they're leading by 8 points. Ball broken out around the centre of the field. Here come Castletown on the attack again. Great ball dropping in. This time it's gone out. And like that's their sixth wide of the second half. And look for cameras. Their forwards, Castletown forwards, haven't been in great shooting form. But they have scored 2 goals and 10 points to 8 points. Ball breaks out towards. Tommy Delaney trying to get cameras on the attack. Ball broken in towards PJ Cuddy. He's trying to get it up, but it won't come up too easy for him because it's running towards the other PJ Cuddy. Ball broken in towards PJ Cuddy again. In there too is uh, the referee. Well, it would appear as if it was a free in for cameras, but uh, a foul there on Ray Cuddy. But in fact, the referee has blown for a free out for Castletown. did appear to be en route to goal there when he was brought down but the referee has indicated a free out for Castletown and certainly a decision that won't go down too well with the cameras players and John Lyons comes out after he recovered from that bit of an injury to take the free out from about 20 metres out 2-10 to 8 points, the challengers, Castletown leading the reigning county champions. Are we about to see the form of fall of yet another champion side? Ball broken down in towards uh, Joe Dollard, about to be tackled by Dennis Gorman. And Dennis Gorman still in there, tackling him, beats him, just tries to get it in, but taken away from him by Jim Scully. Comes back towards Joe Dollard, back towards Dennis Gorman. Dennis along the ground, a good ball in towards Finan. In there too is... Uh, Jim Scully, Jim Scully. Ball broken out towards Pat Beelan and oh, great chance for Pat for another goal, but this time it just barely knocked it over the bar, but the point is surely as good as a goal at this stage. Two goals and uh, two goals and eleven points to eight points and Paddy Dollard having words in there with Declan Cullerton once again in the wars in there with the cameras defence and the ball dropping out around uh, the middle of the field out towards uh, Ray Cuddy, out towards Shemi Moore well beaten out by Johnny Sullivan in towards Paddy Dollard again tackled by the cameras defence tries to get room to swing it, he just gets out towards David Cuddy but in the, in the meantime referee uh, had awarded a free to uh, Paddy Dollard Free out from a ball, free from about 50 metres out, and Pat Faden a chance to increase his own personal tally of one goal and six points to a goal and seven for Castletown. They're leading by uh, nine clear points, and they could well be leading by ten. And there's two goals and, and another point for Castletown. Two goals and 12 points to eight points, and just ten clear points between the sides as the champions try to come to terms with this massive defeat which is staring them in the face the ball breaks out around the centre of the field goes towards Ali Dowden ball gone out over the sideline and uh, the line ball for cameras and another Castletown player down this time with injury
John Sullivan, the team captain, has a word there with Pat Devaney as to what time might be left. And we'd be making just about less than 10 minutes left. Free to be taken by Pat Phelan, he drops a good ball in. And the umpire has indicated that that one has gone out of the end line and wide. The score remains 2 12 to 8 points in favour of Castletown. And looking very like qualifying for the first ever Leash Senior Hurling final. Tim Lowry pucks it out in the goal, going to drop it beyond centre field. But uh, Castletown midfield, David Cuddy grabs it. Gets it out towards Pudgy, Pudgy Cuddy. Down towards Tommy Delaney. Tommy Delaney pulls first time, doesn't get it very far in there to his Dennis Gorm. Dennis caused an awful lot of problems here for the camera's defence. Beaten this time though as the ball comes back towards Jim Scully. Gets back towards Dennis. Dennis going solo. Still going solo. About to be tackled by Jim Scully. Gets in the hand pass. He might be looking for Paddy Dollard in the corner. Paddy Dollard a shot, but this time Tim Lowry grabs. Sends a long relief and clearance. Sends cameras on the attack. All the way up towards uh, the, the halfback Johnny Cuddy. Johnny Cuddy grabs it, sends his side on the attack, but going very near the end line, and it'll go out over the end line and wide. Ten points between the sides. Ball poked out towards Matty Collier, now over on centre field. Ball is beaten away from Matty though, as the ball breaks out towards David Cuddy, sends a long relieving shot way down, and a lovely point. A 13 point of the game for Castletown. Two goals and 13 points. 8 points and that one sent over by David Cuddy when he whipped up half a chance around the centre of the field and the crowd beginning to go away here at Amore Park ball dropping down towards Shemi Moore in there to his Corey Cogan Pat Phelan, Dennis, Dennis Gorman but the ball breaks back towards Ray Cuddy, Ray Cuddy trying to get his side on the attack but waiting for all in his own is a Castletown man Jerry Phelan sends a great ball way down into the far corner going very near the side and that will be kept in play by Declan Cullerton subbing the cameras team in the second half for John Cuddy ball broken out around the centre field back towards Dennis Gorman pulls first time in towards Pat Phelan in towards Paddy Dollard Pat Phelan with a chance of yet another score he sends this one high and out and a good point by Pat Phelan a total of one goal and eight points for Pat so two goals and 14 points for Castletown, eight points for Cameras, and time ticking away in this leash hurling semi final. And the fight really gone out of Cameras at this stage. But one man who grabs the ball here is, is Ollie Dowling. He still tries to get out towards the captain, Matty Collier. The referee had blown his whistle. The advantage appeared to be with Cameras, but the referee, Pat Laney, awarded the free two Cameras, and this time straight in front of the goal. And uh, they'll surely try to engineer a goal from this one. They'd need a couple, but Fint Lawler will try one here. He scored a crucial goal in last year's semi-final. He scored a couple in the Brady Cup last year. Didn't play in this year's Brady Cup final. Bend lifts and strikes and a low hard shot. This time it skimmed the upright and out onto the back board and, and out over the end line and wide. The score remains 2-14 to 8 points in favour of the blue and white from the Noor in Castletown. And they might have the tidiest village in Leash but it looks like they might have a few scatters of silverware before the year is out. Pucking out in the goal is John Lyons, yet to concede a goal in this leash hurling semi final. A great record for this young man. His father has such a colourful career with both Kuda and Cameras. Ball breaking out towards Cameras or towards PJ Cuddy. PJ Cuddy trying to get back, but waiting for this is Martin Phelan. Martin Phelan had a fine game here for Castletown in defence. Used to play a half back, black playing in the full line now. Out towards David Cuddy, loses his hurley. Referee says play on, but he's going to drop straight towards Jimmy Moore and Parry Hogan. Parry Hogan grabs it, all in his own. Still going solo and about to be tackled. Holds on to the ball, tackled by Eamon Kirwan. Sends in a good long ball, dropping in towards the parallel. A great chance here for Seamus Kennedy, tries to keep it in play. He's come on a sub there about 10 minutes ago. He takes a look at the goal mode, sends it back in across the goal mode, in towards uh, Ray Cuddy, the other sub. Ray Cuddy is beaten though. Out towards... Uh, Johnny Sullivan, Johnny Sullivan the captain, way up towards the centre of the field, but beaten down by Tommy Delaney, sends cameras on the attack, however time is running out here now, they're trailing by 
to 14 to 8 points there's 12 points between the sides ball breaks towards Fran Dowlin Fran has had a good game at centre field for cameras won a lot of possession but the ball is taken from him this time by Dennis Gorman Dennis Gorman way out towards the corner out towards uh, Paddy Dollard and the ball gone out over the side and this time it'll be a line ball and it'll be taken by David Cuddy and Castletown looking very good now Cape looked like qualifying for their first ever hurling uh, semi-final hurling final their first ever victory in a leash hurling semi-final ball breaks down towards uh, Finan Sullivan in there too is uh, Pat Field and the ball is goes back down towards Parry Hogan this man has covered a lot of ground here today sends a long ball way out towards Ollie Dowling his first cousin but the attack is broken up the attack is broken up here comes Ollie Dowling going soloing for cameras he's about to be tackled by the halfback John Cuddy but he still has the ball goes to the ground and the referee will award a free there for a foul on Ollie Dowling and uh, Fintaller will he try for, uh, to drop it in or will he poke the ball over the bar and John Cuddy seems to have uh, be suffering there from exhaustion but uh, time almost up in this leash we make it maybe two minutes less less than two minutes left with a bit of injury time as Fintaller pokes that ball over the bar for a consolation score for the cameras men and they've looked like losing their first semi-final since losing to Clannad in a semi-final here in 1992 when they had led by seven points at half time and referee Patelani has blown the full time whistle and Castletown have qualified for their first ever uh, leash hurling final as a result of a very comprehensive 214 to 9 points victory over the reigning county champions and that will surely be a great boost to them when they face Port Leash in two weeks time in the leash uh, hurling final the winners of the first game uh, on a comprehensive scoreline also were Port Leisha. so it's Port Leisha and Castletown and the sides have met in a league uh, game earlier this year with Port Leisha winning easily but I'm sure league form won't count for anything when these sides meet on September the 10th in what will be a first ever final appearance by these young lads from Castletown led by their captain John Sullivan uh, his brother Finan and a po included in the opposition side will be another brother Michael the older brother who line out in the attack for Port Leisha. Oh, what an intriguing contest that promises to be. But today, full marks goes to this Castletown team. They had a last uh, semi final last year, two to, ca to Cameras, who were then the reigning county champions. They had lost two of Brady Cup finals in two years, and uh, they, certainly the odds were stacked against them, but it turned in an excellent performance. Many people had doubted their ability when they hadn't produced the goods last year but they came back today and they certainly did themselves proud and did Castletown proud with an excellent performance and I'm sure that nobody will nobody will begrudge him a place in that leash hurling final and least of all cameras who've been there on more times than they care to remember so with a final score from Parky Vorga 2 goals and 14 points to 9 points